Hi, this is a Minecraft tutorial for how to prepare your Java world using a program called MCA Selector for an update by deleting old chunks where you haven't built in anything so those chunks can be recreated when you open it back up in the latest version where you can have all the latest blocks and other entities instead of having to travel a really long way from your spawn point to find them. At the time of making this video, version 1.20 has just come out, so I'm going to delete some chunks in our world where nothing has been built on, and then update to 1.20 and open the world and we'll see what's different. Hopefully the new cherry biome will be nearby. I should state that while this tutorial is being made at the time of 1.20 being just released, this will work for future updates of Minecraft beyond that, so if you're watching this from the future, you can still use this. Okay, so what you want to do is to do a Google search for download MCA selector and here it is on GitHub and there's an installer, download version 2.2 Windows installer. Okay, that's the latest version at this time, but um, there may be a later version if you're coming from the future. So I need to download that because I've currently got 2.1. So just download it to my desktop. And let's open that. No, no, I want you to run. Run anyway, it's fine. And let's install that. English, yep. And accept. Next, install. And then you just want to install that. Setup is preparing. Extracting files finished installing and that's it then you just launch it okay so you can find your saved file for your minecraft world in here in users your name of your oh that's my name so yours might be different uh, app data which is by default hidden so unhide that in the file explorer settings to see that then roaming.minecraft and saves and that's where all the saves for your worlds are kept so here's the latest one that I have ready to be trimmed uh, you, you want to make sure that you have a backup of your latest world because once those chunks are trimmed in MCA selector they're gone forever so if you make a mistake if you delete something you've already built in uh, it's gone so definitely make a backup before as I have okay so let's open up MCA selector and load it into it okay so file open world and so navigate to that directory and take your world select folder and it'll give you three options it'll give you the name of the world dim one with a dash and dim one without a dash. Uh, this one, the first one, is your world. The other ones are the nether and the end. So if you want to select them, do that. But let's just go with the overworld for now. I'm going to maximize that. And it might take a little while to load. It's a lot of information depending on how big your world is. So here's my world. And I can zoom out with the middle mouse button and yeah it's taking a while on mine okay I've just gone ahead and zoomed out and that's everywhere we've been in our world okay so how it's broken up is you've got the regions which you can left click to select and right click to deselect and if we zoom in closer then we can see each individual chunk and again we can just deselect and select with right and left click so I'm going to be pretty careful now and take some time to do this because I don't want to delete things that we've made or delete accidentally things that we've built underground that I can't see here so I prepared the world a little bit for this yesterday by putting you can see this green block here there's a railway line going underneath here from here so I don't want to touch these chunks at all so that's safe well, there's a fence there so I don't want to do that one and going further north in the world there's an ancient city here that we went to recently in the last Minecraft video I went to you can see that and I want to not delete that I want to keep what we did there so I'm not quite sure where it is I think that might be it there but 
I'm not sure. So there's a way to find it. So how I do that is we use a filter in MCA selector. So go to tools, filter chunks, and yep, yeah, let's go by palette and let's use the data value for the skulk sensor, which will be in the ancient city and click OK. And now it's going to look through every chunk in the world and find instances of skulk sensors, which will definitely be there. And here it is. It's coming up now. All those orange chunks have skulk sensors in them. And yeah, OK, so I'm going to select just around that because I'm fine with deleting there and just do roughly like that and then I will delete these ones that came up because I don't actually want to delete them uh, but I want to delete the ones around it and actually I do want to delete this here this is a pillager outpost and in 1.20 the Mm, armor trimmings can be found in new places such as here so I want to delete that so that we can find the armor trimmings there but the rest of this where the ancient city is the ancient city that can that can stay but these other ancient cities over here they can get deleted and rebuilt because we've never been there and because there'll be armor trimmings there and so let's just select some regions this one and this one here I need to be careful with because there's something here here all right I'll just finish up selecting all the chunks I want and take my time to do it and then I'll jump ahead okay skipping ahead this should be the final selection that I'm happy with you can see where we go most around here and here that's where we build up the most so once you've made your final selection, you're happy with it, and you've got a backup just in case you aren't happy with it, uh, go into selection and delete selected chunks. You're about to delete a lot of chunks. Yep, I sure am. Okay, so all these bits in black are now going to be regenerated when I load it into Minecraft 1.20. I'm going to change the the folder name and now I'm going to open up Minecraft. So I haven't updated to 1.20 yet so I'm doing that now and then we'll load this world into Minecraft. And let's load our world here. Play selected world. This could take a while because it's generating some new chunks. Okay, I just got some food and because I died recently. <laughs> So let's go see what this looks like. Yep, that looks great. And because it's right near us, that's good. Cherry Blossom is really close than I thought. A mangrove new biome last update took ages to get to. Mm, they're in my beds. Anyway, that's a, lot, that's a lot closer than I thought it would be, so that's great. Uh, let's see what else. Ah, oh, yeah, there's that village over there. I did that last time, but. A bit bigger now. It's generated <laughs> with floating islands like that. I actually like it. It kind of reminds me of the floating islands in the new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom. So that's okay. And there's another cherry biome close there. I thought I'd just have a look closer up. weird but I'm okay with that. Interesting. I wonder if there's any villages up there. They'll probably fall off their fur because they're a bit stupid. Okay there's a bit of a path to get up there. Hmm. 
okay. Oops. What was I saying about the villages? Let's try again. It's interesting. Oh, I'll have a look later. Oh yeah, there's two. Huh. And baby one. And the baby zombie. I don't like that. Oh, something that's on the ground down here too. Hmm. And this is the cherry blossom biome up on the hill. Oh, there's the petals. Okay, well, I'm going to have a look around. I hope that was helpful if that's what you wanted to learn about how to delete your unwanted chunks to generate new ones in 1.20 or beyond if you're from the future. And thanks for watching. I plan to do more tutorials, so if you want to see more tutorials on Minecraft or any other games, let me know what interests you. Uh, make sure you subscribe to, to see it when I do. Uh, yep, yeah, thanks again. I'm going to now look around here and see what else has changed. See you next time.